I'm going to show you how to pack this kit. This is a big kit. First, let's take a real close look at all this stuff. This is my new modular sheath kit, all in black and in coyote or coyote, including the um, principal security detail type undyed sheaths, a very fancy exotic sheath with ostrich leg skin inlay, and this beautiful knife, gemstone handle, mirror finish, and the mountain lion paw prints. All right, the knife is a hooded warrior. Let's show you how to pack this up because it's easy enough to unpack. Anybody can pack, anybody can unpack something, but it's packing it all up that can sometimes be a challenge. Start with the small stuff first. The hardware all is in containers. Containers have lids, the fasteners. You see a lid says coyote on it. Makes it easy when you're when you're looking for the right thing. You don't have to open two containers. This one says black on it. So that hardware, you'll see the uh, the extra shock cord links go in here. The Lima's black and coyote go in here. To and so does the extra um, the um, mag light holder goes in here. And to package up the horizontal belt loop plates, nest them, nest the um, die formed aluminum belt loops and just start slowly putting this stuff in here. If it doesn't want to go in, just tap it on the table and shake it. Drop these in, but just shake it or move it around a little bit. Tap it and it'll go in, including the push rod. Oh, and I put it in the wrong one. See, that's what you don't want to do because then when you're looking for the right, when you're looking for the right item, you can't find it. So let's try it again. This is black. Nest these together. In here, nest these together, and then put the largest pieces in first. Follow with the smaller pieces. Again, tap it on the table and wrench. There, black. Goes in, and then same thing here. We nest the belt loops. And let's cut that close to Okay, drop that. That's all the small stuff goes in here. Now, that's those. Ordinarily, I put these in a bag just to keep them extra dry together from rattling around if you want. And here, and here, and here. And there's all the paperwork and information there. Okay, those can go in the duffel. I like to keep the leather sheaths pristine. Remember, this is undyed leather, uh, per your request. So they're um, horizontal left, horizontal right. These are um, these are a new design. So let me go over those real quick. Notice there is a there is a tab stitched in here. That tab engages with this part of the of the handle. So this knife would go in here like this and notice that when it's in oops, or I have it right oops, that has to be folded and then snap one, snap two. The two snaps stop this from rotating and stop the knife from coming out. The knife can't come out, but when it's ready to come out, unsnap the stainless steel snaps, reach behind your back and pull it out. Again, to put it in, as you probably already know, it's easier to put it in off the sheath, but fold the tab in under this part of the under this part of the handle, fold this little tab in, and snap both snaps, and the knife will not fall out. And left or right side, one or the other. Put those up. I like to put these in the um, snap them so that they'll maintain their shape. Remember, it's all uncoated leather. I like to put these in the drawstring bag to keep them clean and dry. And the drawstring bag breathes, so the aluminum doesn't get wet or stay stay wet. It can breathe. Um, oh, let's put the exotic. Oh, look at the nice exotic sheath. Isn't that nice? Well, if we want to get really fancy. That's a nice sheath there. Look at the zigzag stitching. 
pretty nice. All right, let's put that sheet too in with these, as that leather needs to needs to breathe and needs to stay clean and dry. So in that goes, and then we we'll have to go ahead and put the knife in the locking sheet. Um, those can, that can go in. This locking sheet can go in too. The bottom of the bag has a polypropylene padding in it, quarter inch. The hula can go in. Now these modules, the module uh, breathable mesh pads or pillows, these modules can be a bit strange to pack. So let me show you a little trick here on these. This is pretty. This is pretty neat way to do these. Are, they look like a big mess, but what you do is simply hold the uh, find find where they join together. There's a stitch point where they all join together and then the center of the frame and then put those two together and just wrap around the excess like that. I'll show you again. Center, there's a stitch point, put the stitch point with the center of the frame and just fold. And fold. And the belt loop extenders are even easier. They fold in, the top folds in and that's it. Again, Stitch frame, find the stitching stitching point here, and the, right in the center of the frame, hold those together, and then you can fold over the excess like that. Just like this, like that, and fold, and fold, and fold. It's the easiest way to do these, fold over, belt loop. Hold over and it goes in. And that is everything in the heavy 1000 denier hand stitch heavy duty bag. That's about probably about 15 pounds worth of knife.